this video I'm going to show you how to make this Batman night light. Let's get started. Now for this light, I'm using this baseball display cube that I found at Hobby Lobby for $2.99, but instead of using it upright, I'll be putting it on its side so the light doesn't fall out. Now I need a logo for the top of my light, so I found one online, and I'll, what I'll be doing is cutting it out, and then I'll be placing it on top of this foam. So here I've cut out the logo that I'll be using, and what I'll do first is tape it to the foam so it doesn't move around when I'm tracing it and then I'll trace all around the edge of it with my black Sharpie. Now the foam I'm using to trace my logo on, which I found at Hobby Lobby, actually has a removable backing, so it's like a sticker. So when I remove the back, I can stick it to the top of the light. When I was finished tracing the logo onto the foam, I went ahead and I cut it out. Now I turned my baseball container on its side, and the reason I did this is so the light wouldn't fall out once I put it in there. And what I'll be doing is just sticking the logo right on top. Press it down carefully to make sure that it's stuck very well to the top. When I was finished doing that, I opened my container up and took it apart so that I could go ahead and paint it. But before I painted it, I covered the bottom, what will be the bottom of my light, with some paper and tape because I wanted to make sure that that part of it wouldn't get any spray paint on it. I also added a piece of tape across the top of the container just to make sure the no spray paint would accidentally get in there. Now I found that each half of my container fit perfectly on top of this floral styrofoam block, so I'll be using this to spray paint it on. And I'm only spray painting the outsides of the container. Once this is dry, I'll spray paint the other one. I'm using Krylon Color Master in the color Sun Yellow to do my painting. Now that I've spray painted my container completely and it has dried, what I'll be doing is peeling off my logo. So what you wanna do is peel it very carefully because you don't want any paint to lift up on the edge. Don't worry about if whether or not the edges are too neat because I'll be doing another step after this just to make sure it looks a little bit neater. Now that I finished removing my foam logo, what I'll be doing is decorating the sides of my light with these Batman stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby. I like them because they're 3D stickers. So for the ones that aren't very sticky, I'll be using glue dots. So I have a glue dot and I'm gonna stick the Batman that's standing on the very front of my container. Now I'm going to continue decorating the front of my container and when I'm finished decorating the front, I'll also go ahead and decorate the two sides and possibly the back if I have enough stickers. Now I finished adding all the stickers. This one is going to be my front so I put his logo at the bottom, Batman, and of course him standing so it's obvious who he is. And then this is one of the sides and I put another logo up here. And then at the back I decided to put the stickers and I put his vehicles. And then this is what the other side looks like. So basically you could turn it whichever way you like. Any way could be the front. Now the last thing I'm gonna do before I add the light to it is I'm going to trace all around the edge of the bat logo here at the top with this 3D fabric paint. Now of course you could probably use a black Sharpie for this. I just like the look of this 3D paint. Now I've finished outlining the Batman logo with the black 3D paint and I really like it because it's black and yellow. But while this dries, I'll be showing you the light that I'll be using inside it. So this light here, I've used before in previous videos and I bought another one so that I could use in this video and I'll provide a link for this in the description box below. It's an LED light and it's color changing and what I really like about it is that it comes with a remote control so that way you don't have to keep opening it to turn the light on and off. And now it's time to add the light to my container. I simply slide it open and place the light inside and it fits perfectly. Here's the Batman light in the dark. Now let's change the colors. And here is yellow. And of course you can do other functions with it. You can strobe it, fade it, and you can make it flash on and off or you can even make it white. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and post in the comments. And please don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.
Now I've finished outlining the Batman logo with black paint. And I really like it because it's black and yellow, black and yellow. 